The fare of MRT3 lagged behind other mode of transportations which has been granted fare increase for the past years. MRT3 management said it was 2015 when the railway system had an adjustment to its fare. As to date, the government is subsidizing about 87 pesos to the fare of every passenger boarding the train. It came from the annual budget released to the Department of Transportation. According to MRT3 management, they aim to implement a fare increase by April or May this year. This will help to lessen the subsidy that is coming from the national fund which can be utilized to the operation and maintenance of the railway system. Ang expectation namin is mga baka end of April ito, middle of May. Lahat nagtaas na, no? ang kuryente, lahat so sobrang um, napag-iwanan na rin ang uh, fare ng railways. No? In fact, kahit na maaprubahan ang aming uh, proposal, magiging mababa pa rin tayo actually kesa sa mga aircon buses. ASEC Aquino also mentioned that their petition for fair hike has been submitted to the Rail Regulatory Unit which will evaluate their request. They are just waiting for the notice to publish and the public hearing afterwards to decide whether fare increase is on time and needed. The MRT3 management is requesting a 2 pesos and 29 centavos of increase to boarding fare and additional 21 centavos per kilometer of ride. From the current 13 pesos minimum fare, it will be increased to 16 pesos and from 28 pesos of fare from end-to-end -end stations, it will be increased to 34 pesos. JP Nunez, UNTV, News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.